عندما تتحد البيضة الفارغة ويا 23 كروموسوم من السم راح يصير عندنا 23 كروموسوم اللي هي الثلاث نسا فقط وعندما نسوي تحليل ال SCG راح يطلع البوزيتيف سواء كان بالبلط أو باليورين لكن فيتس لا وجود له absent of the fetus هاي incomplete مول شو partial partial مولر هنا السبام عندنا two sperm two sperm يعني 23 كروموسوم 23 كروموسوم from sperm and egg only 23 كروموسوم من يتحدون حيطلع لنا 69 كروموسوم 69 كروموسوم معناته هنا شنو حيصير عندنا حيصير عندنا الفيتاس ديفورميتي وغالبا الجنين يتوفى قبل الاسبوع ال 16 من الحمل داخل الرحم What are the dangers of the molar pregnancy طبعا كل حمل انقود يد تو ابورشن يعني يصير عندنا اجهاض نفقد الحمل و another case led to transport to the cancer carcinoma sign of symptom تظهر noise and vomiting excessive uterus size is larger than gestational age uterus size signs of preeclampsia وقت الحمل appear excessive output of SCG hormone Vaginal bleeding and slightly or severe with the mucus of fluid and rupture cyst. Anemia, uterus stopped, no palpable fetal parts, no fetal heart rate. When you just saw with nursing diagnosis and nursing management, sorry, uh, uterus must be empty of the conception. If the molar is small, uh, the first trimester section and cortage, section and cortage. If the, the molar is large, give oxytocin, prostaglandin. If the woman is over age 40 years, it must be led to the stroctomy. Yeah. Now let me just add the signs and symptoms of molar pregnancy. The one point important for for the signs and symptoms is the blood dish. The blood dish is like of grape fruit. Choose. مثل فاكهة عصير العنب يكون شكله and continuously vomiting. البطن تكبر أكبر من الطبيعي لأنه تخرج من الحوض تكون في بشكل أكبر عند وضع نسوي بارتيشن على اليوترس نسوي فحص نخلي إيدينا على اليوترس راح نلاحظ مثل الدوني الدوني عجينة لينة سوفت دوني فيلين Uh, في الأسبوع العشرين من الحمل تظهر علامات التسمم الحمل أو بريكلامسيا في الحمل العادي لا يحصل uh, قد يحصل أو قد لا تحصل uh, أو قد يحصل في أواخر الحمل وليس في النصف الأول السونار هو اللي يكشف لنا الحمل العنقودي لذلك مراجعة الطبيب والالتزام بالجدول المراجعات والزيارات مهم uh, We are have some follow-up care. The patient should be kept under observation for one year. The patient kept or under observation for one year. Cortage is repeated to ensure no molar remain. And SCG assessing 
every two weeks until negative result and the monthly four for the year. The patient advised to avoid further pregnancy for one to two years. The aim of follow-up is avoided complication of carcinoma, coronary carcinoma. The treatment of the coronary carcinoma is chemotherapy, methotrexate. Methotrexate. بمعنى أنه الحمل العنقودي يتحول إلى حمل سرطاني. سيخترق جدار الرحم فيسموه انفيزف مود فيسمى الحمل العنقودي الاختراقي انه يخترق جدار الرحم وعلاجه الميثو تروكسيد انفيزف مولر ميثو تروكسيد علاج مالته الثاني يدعى الكورلو كارسينوما وهذا ينتقل من جدار الرحم إلمن إلى الرئتين وينتشر إلى أماكن أخرى من الجسم ويسمى الحمل السرطاني المنتشر لعلاج ما تخ 15 نوع من العلاج وهذا النوع من السرطان أيضا قابل للعلاج وممكن أن يسبب لنا الهستروكتومي Citation and cortege and some uh, di uh, diagnostic tests lab for detect this uh, problem reading ultrasound by ultrasound and check of follow up uh, SCG hormone level every two weeks. Uh, follow up that, uh, is very important uh, in this period and to prevent, prevent or avoid to pregnant again after one to two weeks, mostly good family planning, and make the number test is very important, mostly equal zero for three months. لمدة ثلاثة أشهر يجب أن يكون نتيجة الاختبار الرقمي صفر. زين. هذا بالنسبة للحمل العنقودي. Placenta previa. Placenta previa is one of problem of placenta. Let's talk a little bit in a simple way. I'll give you some examples and stories that are interesting. In fact, some countries in the world who are interested in placenta or the placenta of the child. كونها الجزء الوحيد اللي يتغذى عليه الجنين ويعتبرون المشيمة هي رمز للحياة هذا الكلام طبعا فقط كثقافة لكم يعني في بعض القبائل الأفريقية في نيجيريا كانوا يضعون المشيمة بعض الولادة في الأرض تحت شجرة ويطلقون على هذا المكان اسم زامبوكو أو المكان الذي وضعت فيه المشيمة بينما في كينيا كان يضعون المشيمة في الأرض الغير خصبة مع حبوب وأعشاب إيمانا بخصوبتها ورمزيتها في إعطاء الحياة. في آسيا بعض الثقافات مثل الصين وفيتنام كانوا ينظرون المشيمة كقوة الحياة وتدخل في كثير من وصفاتهم الغذائية بعد الصين حتى المشيمة يأكلوها لزيادة طاقة الشخص وحيويته هاي حسب معتقداتهم. في أندونيسيا يقع على عاتق الأب مهمة تنظيف المشيمة ولفها ووضعها في مكان آمن يوم ولادة الطفل وهذا أيضا أحد معتقداتهم في كوريا كانت تحرق ويستخدمون رمالها للعلاج في أمريكا الجنوبية كانت تزرع في الأرض اعتقاد دورها في طرد الأرواح الشريرة حديثا ومع تطور العلم عرفنا ان المشيمة محتويات من البروتينات والاحماض الامينية وبعض الهرمونات والمواد المغذية لجسم الانسان لذلك 
بدأوا استخدامها في أوروبا في مستحضرات التجميل نتيجة لتأثيرها الواضح على البشرة والشعر تحديدا انتبهوا بنات من استخدام مستحضرات التجميل ذات الماركة الأوروبية لأن يعني أكثرها مصنوعة من المشيمة خلينا نرجع للموضوع على البلاسينتا بريفيا البلاسينتا بريفيا معناتها تقدم المشيمة بلاسينتا بريفيا بلاسينتا is described as a previa when is only or partially only or partially attached to the, into the lower uterine segment <coughs> إذن what are the type of placenta previa complete partial marginal and low خلينا نشرح شنو معنات complete the complete أو total معناته أن الفوز of the cervix كلهم مغلق هذا هذا الأوز هذا الأوز وهاي البلاسنتا الأوز of the placenta completely مغلق يعني البلاسنتا هذه غالقة فتحة البجاينة أو cervix أوز sorry cervix أوز فتحة cervix مغلقة فيسموه complete complete placenta previa partial placenta previa البلاسنتا موجودة على الجزء الجانبي من الرحم قريب من فتحة cervix cervix أوز لكن جزء منها مغطى فيسموه partial المارجنال إنها تكون كلش قريبة كلش قريبة على الأوز أوف ذا سيرفكس لكن الأوز مفتوح لو لاينج لو لاينج أيضا هاي حتكون قريبة من السيرفكس أوز يسموها لو لاينج إذا توتال أور كومبليت When the placenta is completely covered the in, uh, internal ooze, partial when the placenta uh, covers uh, partially internal ooze, low when the placenta is uh, covered or sorry is encouraged on the regain in the internal ooze at the opening but not close the cervix ooze at the opening but not close. Causes of Uh, placenta previa it is several causes it's related to increasing in age age more than 35 a year uh, that led to placenta previa also increasing in parity يعني تعدد الحمل previous cesarean section and uterine incision big uh, placenta as the twin breach presentation يعني Presenting part of the fetus to the breech, the previous scar. Signs and symptoms. The common signs and symptoms is the bright red bleeding. Bright red bleeding. And another sign is pain legs. Usually bright. Right, uh, sorry, bleeding usually. Uh, bright red color and occur late pregnancy after the seven months. Fetal movement until fetal heart is normal. Abnormal fetal presentation, high on maybe freely mobile. Diagnosis by ultrasound on obstetrical examination. PV is avoided nihaian, nihaian, nimna. الفحص الداخلي الفحص ال PV by finger per vaginal placenta previa it is very important انه لازم تعرفون هاي المعلومة نهائيا ممنوع الفحص بال placenta previa 
treatment administration of the hospital bed rest uh, until 38 weeks, sedation, blood transfusion, uh, maybe uh, low implant uh, induced labor by artificial rupture of membrane, partial and total placenta previa, maybe led to caesarean section. After that, a full placenta problem led to caesarean section. In the most important part, the chart, the chart, الصفحة مو الصفحة اللي هو يعني الكفر مات الشارت حيكون عليه خط لونه أحمر أو حيكون عليه حرف الار كابتل لونه أحمر أو يضللوا بالأحمر هاي معناتها معناتها شنو معناتها risk for PV examination يعني ما نوصل لها نهائيا يعني الطبيبة إذا الشيفتات جت في طبيبة ثانية من تقرأ هذا العلامة معناتها أنها ما تسوي لها Vaginal examination PV then have the placenta previa. The case. Hi, in this valley, the قدم المشيمة. The قدم المشيمة. نوع آخر ما يسمى approximate placenta. The approximate placenta هو انفصال المشيمة. ده كان تقدم المشيمة. هنا أنا انفصال المشيمة قبل ولادة الطفل. Premature separation of the placenta from the uterine attachment in the upper uterine segment. هذا الموقع الطبيعي للplacenta. The causes of approximate placenta malnutrition, trauma, hypertension, chronic disease, virgin, يعني تدوير الجنين. Tumor, short umbilical cord, multiple pregnancy, smoking, a twin or more, PV. Types of approximate placenta. The types of placenta. وهو مكان أو طريقة انغراس أو انفصال البلاسنتا لاحظ هذه الصورة هنا revealed hemorrhage concealed hemorrhage External approximate relatively consult abortion approximate and consult consult hemorrhage معناته ان الحافات ملتصقة الحافات ملتصقة والوسط منفصل بتلاحظون حافات البلاسنتا هذه الحافة الأولى وهي الثانية ملتصقة لكن الوسط إيش فيه؟ منفصل والبلد ما بين المشيمة والرحم هذا جدار الرحم وهذا المشيمة وهذا الأحمر لونه هذا هو البلد هاي محصور بيناتهم طبعا اكو هنا بليدينج هذا كونسيلد هيموريج Remind inside uterus cavity. The bleed or the blood. Remind inside inside uterus cavity. It revealed hemorrhage. And who will external? Who escape externally? Escape externally. معنى تحافات المشيمة حافات تنفصل ويخرج The blood during the vagina from the cervix. They some revealed hemorrhage. Then, we have the causes. We just have to show some complication. What is possible? It's a baby. What is a baby? Hemorrhage and shock. Coagulation defects. Postpartum hemorrhage. Inertia. هي الشيء معناته ارتخاء عضلة الرحم 
Ray of Hela. Such a system was the dark brown and vaginal bleeding, the uterus rigid and tender, the uterus contraction that increase, don't relax. Such a diagnostic test signs and symptoms on the signs and symptoms and amount of bleeding ultrasound and related with pain. Signs and symptoms related with pain. Nursing intervention assist patient bleeding and monitoring fundal height. Every 30 minutes for change count the number of perineal fat. Monitor maternal blood pressure and vital signs, intake and output, and monitor vaginal bleeding every 10 to 15 minutes. Monitor IV fluid uh, uh, order and IV fluids will be administrated to replace fluid volume. Begin electronic fetal monitoring to assess the fetal heart rate. Have equipment for emergency cesarean section delivery. This is the nursing or common nursing intervention for the flatten, approximate flatten. Signs or symptoms appear the hemorrhage, and this is the sealed and concealed hemorrhage. Placenta accreta. Placenta accreta, it is the one of the problem of the placenta related to several causes also. And maybe have divided into the some types of accreta. Every placenta detached into the uh, cavity or wall of the uterus cavity. Wall of the uterus cavity. The accreta is a severe detachment for the uterus wall. It is divided into three types of the placenta accreta. What are the types of placenta accreta? Accreta, it is divided into inacreta and pericreta. Is a condition which is the placenta attached, it is uh, too deeply into the wall of the uterus, but does not penetrate the uterine muscle. A common risk for placenta accreta during the Birthing process is the possibility of hemorrhage during manual attempt to detach the placenta. Very pregnancy or pregnant woman need to be instructed to report any episode of severe nausea and vomiting and episodes that extended beyond of the first trimester. Placenta accreta is typically diagnosed after birth when the placenta falls to normally separated from the uterus wall. A, a fused hemorrhage may be result because the uterus cannot contract to close of or opening of blood vessels. Management will be dependent on the severity of the bleeding and the frequency necessary at uh, hysterectomy. Nursing need to be prepared to assess this emergency situation as dictated by the health care provider. Now, hypertension. Hypertension during a pregnancy. Differences for any hypertension in other conditions. Hypertension during a pregnancy, it is divided into uh, hypertension disorder, preeclampsia, chronic hypertension, preeclampsia, uh, with the chronic hypertension, gestational hypertension, uh, this is the type of hypertension. Number one, preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is increased blood, uh, blood pressure after 20 weeks of the gestation, accompanied with protein, urea, edema, and or but It's classified into mild and severe. Why the preeclampsia? 
it is mean increase of systolic 30 are uh, and diastolic 15 over blood pressure before 20 weeks of gestation. And proteinuria is a plus one or 0 0.3 gram per liter in 24 hour. Odima is a pair appears for generalized odima. It was what are the type of odima? It is the generalized odima in pregnant woman and increase weight gain, rapid weight gain. So this is the preeclampsia. What are the nursing care for mild? Nursing care depended on the signs and symptoms. The risk for in uh, injury related to cesarean nervous system irritability, inefficient tissue perfusions and at the uh, high risk fetal distress and excessive fluid volume. In severe preeclampsia, the blood pressure it, won, uh, it is 160 to 110 recorded on at least two. And the protein urea of plus 3 or plus 4 or 5 gram per day. Only the urea less than or equal to 500 ml in 24 hours. An individual change if gastric pain and pulmonary edema or cyanosis. This is the severe preeclampsia. In eclampsia, a car of the convulsion is of the woman who has signs and symptoms of preeclampsia. This is Edna Hypon Edna chronic hypertension present before pregnancy or diagnosed before the 12 week of a gestation. Transcend hypertension, elevated blood pressure during the pregnancy. Chronic hypertension and pregnancy induced hypertension, it is the recently recommended that use for these two terms. What are the risk factors? Nulparity, young age and greater more than 35 years, patient history for preeclampsia and eclampsia, mother and sister. Chronic cranial or uh, diabetic mellitus and chronic hypertension, moderate pregnancy, multiple pregnancy, uh, diet uh, deficiency of calcium. So, how to affect how to affect the preeclampsia on the mother and fetus? On the mother, lead to hyperreflexia, headache. Caesar, cerebral uh, vasospasm, uh, renal failure, abortion, abruptio placenta, pulmonary embolism, liver rupture. Effect on the fetus, small gestational age, hypoxia, malnutrition, premature, hyper, magnesium. And that led to management for magnesium sulfate, maybe uh, to management in hypertension to pregnancy. An early detection and it is mild or severe, depending on the signs and symptoms and laboratory tests. And early prenatal care. This is the management of the hypertension during the pregnancy. What are nursing interventions? Using intervention divided into the mild preeclampsia and ma uh, severe. Uh, management and nursing care uh, that very important to identify what are facts. Nursing care for and management for mild preeclampsia need hospitalization. Bed rest and observe vital signs, increase 
balanced diet for calcium intake, for calcium intake, and uh, helpful for prevent severe preeclampsia and uh, incidence of the premature labor or delivery and the low birth weight. Maintain a moderate salt intake, normal. Increase the water intake to maintain blood volume and the uterine and the kidney perfusion. Educate the mother about the signs and symptoms of severe preeclampsia and encourage to call the doctor if she any signs or symptoms present. Monitoring the fetal heart rate and fetal movement to, or to, to assess the fetal well-being. Psychological support for the mother and her family. Hospitalized it requires is very important to prevent seizure. This is my health management for the preeclampsia. Management and the nursing care for the severe need hospitalization, hospitalization also. Maintain the bed rest and put the, the mother into the left lateral position to prevent or to maintain the venous return. Keep the woman semi-dark room, avoid the stimulation. Frequent amount of vital signs, sorry, uh, monitor the vital signs. Educate and assess daily weight to assess the fitting edema. Fetal heart rate monitoring. Shaking the intake with outbook. Shaking protein urea. Magnesium salvage. It is the, very important to give in by IV. Four to six gram in 15 minutes and one to three gram to maintain until 24 hours postpartum. Very important to treatment the calcium. If eclampsia is led to seizure, may must be taken, keep the patient in bed with side and uh, insert airway protector place the tango uh, blood and must be uh, frequent, the uh, spasms should be given frequently to prevent this complication of the eclampsia or preeclampsia. We have warning signs. This is warning signs of development of preeclampsia. It is severe headache, visual disturbance, vomiting, epigastric pain, or upper right, uh, uh, upper right uh, quadrant pain, and increase in hyperreflexia. Development of the convulsion is the, the warning sign. Gestational diabetics. Gestational diabetic during the pregnancy. Insulin. Uh, pregnancy can be complicated diabetic in the woman with the other insulin dependent diabetic mellitus or because the control non insulin dependent diabetic mellitus. Pregnancy alterate in insulin and carbohydrate metabolism. Um, during this uh, course of pregnancy, placenta produce hormone and enzyme which are the insulin antagonists for this and any increased insulin requirement there are human placenta lactogen, progesterone and estrogen placental insulin inside. Same. أهم نقطة إن إحنا نحن ممكن نركز عليها هو effect of diabetic mellitus on the maternal health and effect of diabetic mellitus on the Fetus health. Effect on the maternal health, continuous abortion, infection, special UTI, polyhydrominose, 
preeclamps yani eclampsia, preterm labor, birth injury, postpartum hemorrhage. Affected diabetic mitosis on the fetus health, congenital anomalies of the, fetus, of the infants, microsoma, big baby, more than 4 kilograms, severe respiratory distress, prematurity, metabolic problem in neonate, and risk for prenatal mortality for poorly controlled diabetic mitosis, small for gestational age. What are the nursing management for diabetic medicals during pregnancy? Well, she had a woman who are pregnant, uh, pregnancy with the diabetic medicals usually must be have team for healthcare provider or have doctor. Woman sh should be checking weight every shift and check the level of the insulin, diet therapy, sorry, level of uh, glucose monitoring, yani, diet delivery, insulin therapy, fetal well-being monitoring and using exercise. What are the risk factor of diabetic mitosis? Age more than 30 years, family history for diabetic, previous microsoma, infant more than 4,000 uh, grams, previous uh, stillbirth, and obese woman. Obese woman. This is the diabetic mitosis during pregnancy. Anemia. Anemia, it is the one of the signs during a pregnancy. Medical problem in a pregnancy, it is the anemia. HB volume less than 10 gram per distal is associated with the increased rate for preterm. Delivery. لكن أقل من عشرة الأجب حيسبب بين الآتي: preterm delivery, low birth weight, prenatal mortality, postpartum hemorrhage, infection, poor wound healing, and abortion. Causes of anemia may be nutritional factors: iron, folic acid, B12, bone marrow separation. Blood cells, hemolysis, secondary to blood loss, medication, chemotherapy, antibiotic. Type of anemia. An iron deficiency anemia, or an folic acid deficiency, or an skill cell anemia. The anemia in Angelina. The skill cell anemia, similar to the one Skill cell anemia, this anemia occurs during the pregnancy. It is heritage hemolytic anemia, hemoglobinopathy, and dyspalacemia. It is a cause maternal anemia or problem for the baby skill cell anemia, but it has some symptoms such as or include recurrent, fever, recurrent fever, pain in the abdomen, neonatal death, premature labor, low birth weight, pulmonary embolism, heart problem, preeclampsia, increased infection. Increased infection. Every that or every symptom must be Treated as a nursing intervention, it is very important to administration. Blood transfusion, maybe, or maybe need uh, another uh, intervention diet, nutrition, uh, educate, 
and iron supplements, folic acid uh, to, to increase the fetal movement, the fetal uh, progress during the pregnancy. If the iron deficit uh, during the pregnancy affect on the maternal and fetal, in the case of pregnancy-induced hypertension, due to infection, fatigue, and premature, postpartum hemorrhage, low birth weight, or stillbirth, and neonatal death. عادة ما ننصح بتناول الحديد مع الفواكه لأنه سهل لعملية الامتصاص. وننصح بعدم تناوله مع الشاي أو الحليب لأنه يقلل أو يمنع الامتصاص. The last uh, problem during the pregnancy it is urinary tract infection. UTI, any pregnant woman has a UTI during the pregnancy. أي واحدة صار حامل رأسا من ضمن التحاليل المطلوبة هي تحليل ال UTI. ال UTI هو urine test uh, to uh, observe any the problem depended on this test. Treatment by antibiotics three to seven days of amoxicillin or uh, related types for it. That is depended on order. Uh, UTI, it is normal during the pregnancy. Therefore, the, the mother must be observed and continuously uh, checking this uh, test by order and during the visit uh, schedule during the uh, visit schedule in the uh, doctor clinic. So, signs of symptoms must be treated with the UTI such as burning with the urination, increased frequency or urgency of urination. This number for fre uh, frequency depended on in my high UTI or Maybe it is the pressure of the uterus of, on the bladder. Yeah. So another sign of symptoms related with this frequency that we in diagnose UTI. Normal or slightly elevated temperature is the result of infection. High fever, chill, pain or tenderness, nausea and vomiting, pain in lower pelvic and pain during sex. A UTI. Uh, uh, not have this uh, importance here yeah, I need to diagnose it's very important to diagnose why maybe UTI led to abortion UTI is one causes of abortion so it's very important to identify uh, immediately and uh, treat it to prevent any problem during the pregnancy so I will in this lecture to observe these symptoms which can cause a premature and maybe lead to early labor uh, the UTI. A pain or a burning during urination and in lower pelvic pain, in lower back pain, this is the sign. Chill, fever, uh, blood or pus in the urine, bad odor. Diagnosed by urine test and treatment for antibiotic. This is the all uh, titles of lecture, every conditions or every state have several cases in the hospital. We can see that in the next day. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.